so here we are in Lightroom and you can see the final product here of the bike frame with the logo on there that I added um, here's the original without the logo uh, edited it all together and I just wanted to run through each shot and kind of show you how I built the picture um, so here's in Photoshop you can see I've got the different layers with the mask for each layer to pull out what I want so I go down to one base layer and you'll notice you've got some highlights on some areas but other areas are just kind of faded so what I want to do is pull out all the highlights that I want from each one so I've got that one and then I add that one in alright and you'll notice that's everything all that all that gap okay all the gap in this area and here all those checkerboard is actually pulled from this picture so you'll see the highlight on the tire that's not there is actually there so just blending all that together is really important so that it looks you know it doesn't look like there's a, a line between each layer it blends together really well and then so I pulled in the highlights from from that area and you can see how the light gets moved around now if you'll notice in Lightroom um, I kinda show you my actual setup so I've got one light stand one speed light one umbrella and I'm tethering to my laptop so I can see you know a full screen representation of each thing it's way better than looking on the back of the camera um, so you can see the bike set up here right in the driveway with the grass and then you got nothing behind it for 50 or 75 feet so it's going to give you a nice black seamless background and you'll notice with the light here you get the directional hot spots so everything straight toward the light is going to get a nice uh, highlight and it's really important to move that light around and get as many different highlights as you can so in one one I want to highlight part of the frame I'm getting I'm catching this part of the frame I'm catching right through here really well I'm getting a nice highlight down through the uh, suspension and this part of the wheel and also the stand the front face of the stand lit up really well on that one um, and then you'll notice you go on around to this side you get a lot more of the back tire you get some of the even the back filling in the frame um, you'll, you'll see the back side and the front side and that's really important to getting the depth as you get that feel in the back you know through there alright so so you can just see I just kinda went around and I even got one here um, from the back to show you to to get all of those light kicks everything that you want um, and you know I, I kind of overshoot so that I, I have everything I need I don't have to go back and reshoot um, so anyway you kinda get the idea just move move it around and get ideally where you know if I had eight lights I would put eight lights um, alright so go back to Photoshop and you can see now you can see all the different highlights from each direction and how I came up with that um, so let me go back through them alright so there's one shot individually and you'll notice the masking is very very specific to that layer I want these highlights I want these highlights around the tire that section of the wheel this section of the sub you know of the, of the frame of the swing arm going up to that one a little bit of the swing arm I wanted that blue kick off of that one a little bit of the subframe um, and the reason these are kind of faded is because I used like half opacity so that I could blend two layers together and not have um, just just take one shot I can actually blend two, two or three shots together um, and then there's um, so I could light up that side of the grass and then those highlight kicks down let me show you what that is those highlight kicks right there highlighting that edge of the subframe and by doing that you help 
show the shape and you help bring out all the the contour and that's pretty much it and then there's the logo I threw it on there at the end um, but yeah so um, it's really important that you have it on a tripod or in this case it was on the ground and use a remote to trigger it so you don't move the camera at all and that makes it really easy to line them up and get them perfectly um, you know perfectly aligned but um, alright so that's pretty much it um, you know it, it takes some experimentation it takes just getting out there and doing it and learning what you have and how it works and um, yeah just trial and error um, but anyway if you like the video if you want to see some more if you have some questions just leave them in the comments below subscribe if you like it and I'll be posting some more soon so anyway thanks uh, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time mm -hmm.